Welcome to experiment 5. In today's experiment, we will be synthesizing 2-chloro-2-methylbutane through an SN1 reaction. Start by obtaining 2 milliliters of 2-methyl-2-butanol. Next, obtain 5 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Add both the 2-methyl-2-butanol and the concentrated hydrochloric acid to a separatory funnel and manually stir the solution with the stopper off. This reaction will produce a lot of gas, so the stopper must be off to allow the gas to escape. Swirl for two minutes to allow for the reaction to proceed completely. After swirling, allow the layers to separate completely. Drain off the lower aqueous layer so that only the top organic layer remains in the separatory funnel. Obtain 5 milliliters of saturated aqueous sodium bicarbonate. Pour the sodium bicarbonate into the separatory funnel with the organic layer. Swirl the solution with the stopper off. This process will remove any residual hydrochloric acid. Drain off the lower aqueous layer so that only the upper organic layer remains in the separatory funnel. Obtain 5 milliliters of brine, which is saturated sodium chloride. Add the brine to the organic layer in the separatory funnel. Lightly shake the funnel to mix the solution which will wash the organic layer. Drain off the lower aqueous layer so that only the organic layer remains. Set up your distillation apparatus. Pre-weigh a beaker. Pour the organic layer into the pre-weighed beaker. Reweigh the beaker and determine the mass of your organic layer. Pour the organic layer in the conical vial of your apparatus and add the spin vane. Reassemble the apparatus, attach the water condenser in and out tubes, and clamp the apparatus above the hot plate.
turn on the water and adjust the temperature of the hot plate to 100 degrees Celsius. Turn on the stirrer, which will spin the spin vane. Pre-weigh a beaker or a graduated cylinder. Allow the solution to heat until the solution has accumulated in the Hickman still. Use a pipette to collect the product in your pre-weighed container. Reweigh your container and calculate the mass of your product. Then use the mass of your product to calculate the yield. This is the end of experiment 5. Be sure to clean your lab station before you leave and make sure you have all the necessary data. Thank you for watching.